The Goddess of the Woods is the first movement of the High Grove Suite, and it's the piece I wrote to celebrate the 60th birthday of His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. When I knew I was going to be writing a piece for Harp and Strings, I immediately thought of gardens. The florid potential of the harp seems to me to depict the intricate and delicate nature of flowers. And the rich sound of a string orchestra evokes, probably more than anything else, the romantic pastoral English tradition of Delius and Vaughan Williams. I spent a whole day at Highgrove looking around and trying to decide on the area of the garden I wanted to depict. And in the end, I decided on the stumpery. And in the middle of the stumpery sits the statue called the Goddess of the Woods. The movement begins with a violin solo. And then the other strings join. And that theme is not only central to this movement, but it also recurs in the last movement of the suite, the gladiator. This melody I've just played, to me, suggests the, the tranquillity, almost a sense of melancholy as well, which is associated, for me, with that area of the garden. And then, just after a few more seconds, the music and the mood is interrupted with a sudden flurry on the harp and on the strings. And it's like all of a sudden everything's kicked into motion. And over that the melody is developed and the pizzicato in the strings suggests maybe wood nymphs and sprites and everything that evolves in the imagination in an area of a garden like the Stumpria Highgrove. And then I introduce a second melody, this one. And I suppose what's taking over there within me as a composer is the Englishness of the garden and just the sheer beauty of it. Because there it sits in the middle of this expanse of countryside, which not only reflects the Prince of Wales and his skill as a gardener, but reflects something too of our heritage as, as Englishmen. and beauty reaches a climax towards the end of the movement. I say climax but actually um, the mood is very still and peaceful. It's more of a climax in terms of emotion and there's been a slight pause and now the harp plays all on its own. what I'm trying to do here is to indulge in the beauty of the harp and just show how when it's played simply with broken chord patterns 
and a clearly defined melody in the right hand, then you've got a sound and a texture which is second to none in the musical world really. It's almost heavenly. And this phrase gradually builds and the strings are added to the texture as everything moves now towards the final, lively, energetic section of the movement. So the goddess of the woods has cast her magic over the whole of the garden at Highgrove. And now it's as if she comes back to rest in the place where we began. And gone from the musical page are all the semiquavers and the busyness of the section we just heard. And they are replaced by semi-breeves tied to one another as the music slows in pace reaches a calm but confident end.